We are going to make some birch bark star decorations. Uh, you might have made these before uh, from paper. They're quite a common classroom activity, um, but using birch bark uh, makes them look especially beautiful. This was made with four strips of birch bark each about an inch wide and about 22 or so inches long. So I've already cut out the birch bark strips. You can make them out of different widths. This guy is from some three quarter inch birch bark. It's smaller than this one. And then we got some half inch birch bark as well. The smaller they get, get a little bit more fiddly. Um, inch is a nice size. Um, so, I'm going to start with the birch bark. You can, if it's gone, if it's no longer very pliable, you can soak it. Uh, this stuff's doing all right. Uh, what is useful to do beforehand, however, uh, is just to uh, lube it up a little. Uh, I'm going to use some uh, linseed oil, so I'm just going to get some on my fingers and pass it over birch bark. Um, this mainly helps uh, when we're weaving it. It won't stick quite so much. It's also a useful point to like inspect the bark. Um, and remove any bits that, that you think might get in the way. Uh, this piece might be a bit awkward because we've got some, uh, some kind of defects on the very end that we're going to be passing through, uh, but we should be able to trim it down so that these aren't too much of an issue. So, we're going to take the strips and then we're going to fold them not quite in half, um, but take one end just until it gets to where the taper at the other end begins. You want to make sure that all of the bark uh, strips are going to be folded in the same kind of orientation. I've got them folded so that what was the, the inner bark uh, is on the outside here. Here's an issue. This one's starting to delaminate. Uh, it's not a big problem, but better to catch it now and just take that off, otherwise it will get in the way as we're folding it later. How cool's birch bark? Look at this. Anyway. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna take the next one, and then I'm just going to hook it over it, leaving a loop down below there. Whoop. What I want to make sure though is that the longest side is on the bottom for all of them. There we go. And then the third piece is going to go around this one. And then the fourth piece. It's going to go around the third one, but then through the, the loop at the bottom of the first one. And then we pull it all together. It's like a proper rat's nest at the moment. Give it a second. Less of a rat's nest. 
Hey. Right, put it nice and tight. Then we are going to flip it over. Yeah, we go over, 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 and then under. Right. So that locks it all in place. Am I pretty? Cool. Starting with this one, we're going to fold it 90 degrees behind itself. So we've got this nice 45 degree line and we've got three strips off to this side here. So make a crease there. Then form a similar move, but on top of itself, we're going to fold it down. We want to leave a little bit of a gap. Whoop, no, that's a bit of a big gap. A smaller gap. It might be too small. In the middle there, because then once we folded it down, we are going to fold it over. Then we're going to take it, pick it up, I'm going to fold that triangle backwards. And then tuck it under itself there. Still holding the triangle back as we pull through. Right, then rotate 90 degrees and repeat. We've now got this guy in the way though. So it's gonna move that out of the way. Fold behind ourselves. Oh, that's split. It'll be fine. Leave a little space. Fold it over. Kick it back, tuck it through, and pull, and pull, there we are, Whew. dodged a bit of a bullet there, didn't we, that. still looks alright though, alright, number three, going to go wrong with this one. Fold it behind itself. Fold it in front of itself. Fold it over. Tuck that little triangle back. Thread it through. And pull. Then the last one on this side, fold it behind itself, fold it over, fold it on top of itself, push it back through that little gap and pull. Right, so that's all of those done on this side. So we just need to flip it. Do the same again on this side. Through the magic of editing, I might be doing this extremely quickly. Isn't it beautiful? All right, we're almost there. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to fold these kind of 3D parts on the top. So in order to do that, we want to fold each of these strips up. So that the surface now looks like this.
Then we're going to fold this guy 90 degrees on top of itself. And then making sure that this surface stays up, I'm going to take the end, twist it around and thread it under the one next to it. And then it'll eventually pop out here and we can start pulling on it. You don't want to pull on it too far. I like to pull on it until this wall becomes more or less vertical in relation to the flat star or 90 degrees perpendicular. Cool, and then on to the next one. So we're going to bend it over, 90 degree bend, put that line in, take this, making sure the surface remains upright, thread it through until it pops out. What sometimes happens is that a little bit will emerge and it's kind of difficult to grab onto and you're not having much luck pushing it through. So that's when I like to use pliers. You want to be careful that you're not grabbing anything that is going to remain. These end pieces will get cut off. So I can grab that and I can gently pull on it until I've got enough to get my fingers on there. But the pliers are going to leave a mark. There, that's coming up. Let's keep going. Right, that's that side done. On to the other side. So again, just remember to fold them all over before you begin. Start with this side, start with this one because I think that's going to cause a bit of a problem. Fold. Twist. Push. Fold. Twist, push. Fold, twist. Push. Fold. Twist, push. Okay. 
Come on, you blighter. Gotcha. Oh, I don't gotcha. Right. That's all the folding done. All that's left is to trim off these little nibbly bits. Dunzo. Look how pretty that is. Stay in focus and look how pretty it is. There we go. Ta da! Inch is a nice size. That's what she said. I bet it wasn't. Um, and through the inside loop of the fourth piece. I'm gonna... What have I done here? Tucking under that strip. Oh, you wanna be careful you don't do that. Balls. <laughs> 